Hello, I'm Dr. John McDougall. Dairy industry, they're very f powerful. They uh, do over $50 billion a year in business. Uh, they make a lot of money selling you something that's quite unnatural. And what I'm talking about here is they're getting you to consume a food that's ideal for calves. I mean, we're talking about cows, little cows, and we're talking about little baby cows. And somehow they've convinced uh, people, and even adult people, that they should be consuming calf food. Well, it's the wrong kind of food. Well, the dairy industry has, uh, just like any industry, they've got one thing in mind, and that's to sell as much of their product as possible to the consumer, inconsequential of the, of the health problems associated with it. The health problems are severe, like obesity, type 1 diabetes, other autoimmune diseases, severe constipation, all kinds of food allergy problems, uh, heart disease, elevated cholesterol, I mean, you name it. And a dairy product a diet is likely at the root of the problem. Now, you would expect uh, people in the dairy industry to be responsible and to sell only healthy products or make disclaimers. Well, do the people in the tobacco industry do this? Or those who sell you, you, you and your family whiskey or gin, do they do this? Of course not. That's not a bit of their advertising scheme. They're responsible to the stockholders and to make sure that all the employees get, uh, you know, get their salary at the end of the month. So understand these are human beings and their loyalties are to business. They're not to the health of the customer. Now, of course, they don't want any bad rap when it comes to the health of the customer, so they have their whole team of scientists and medical writers out there to spin anything that comes out adversely about dairy products. The dairy industry, if you go to the Internet, has a new campaign going. It's called Dairy Checkoff 2003. You can look it up. In fact, I encourage you to look some of the information up. Just jot some notes, look it up, see whether or not the things I'm telling you are easy to find. You'll find that they're right there. The dairy industry is supporting a $11 billion milk business and a $16 billion a year cheese business. And they have dedicated $165.7 million this year, 2003, to promoting dairy products. And this is their statement. This ongoing program area, referring to the section dairy image and confidence, aims to protect and enhance consumer confidence in dairy products and the dairy industry. The major component involves conducting and communicating the results of dairy nutrition research showing the healthfulness of dairy products. Understand what they're saying. They are going to pay with that $167 million to get research to show benefits of their products. That's what they're paying for. That's what they'll get. They'll do anything to get those results. And I will show you what they're doing over the next few minutes. And the other, the other thing that they're going to spend this money on is uh, issues and crisis management. I am crisis management. <laughs> and they know that. The dairy industry is out there to convince you otherwise. And they have a marketing plan. The dairy industry has the dairy checkoff, a unified marketing plan, and they have $50 billion of income to help support this plan. And the intention is to convince you that dairy products are good for you and your family. In fact, what their position statement is this. A major component of the marketing plan involves conducting and communicating results of dairy nutrition research showing the healthfulness of dairy products. Now notice what this says. This you will find on the internet under Dairy Checkoff put out by Dairy Management Incorporated. They are telling you that their purpose is to design and carry out nutrition research that promotes dairy products. And they have $165 million to do that. They also have a statement there, this money, some of this money is going to be spent on issues and crisis management. I'm here to tell you, I am crisis management. Thank <laughs> you.